right, y'all. This your girl. This your girl. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back with some custom keychains that I had to make. And I want to share this with y'all. So make sure y'all watch this video to the end. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what y'all think. Now I'm going to walk you through the steps. Step by step. Y'all let me know what y'all think. How y'all think it came out. What you think I could have did different. Y'all let, let me know. Thanks for rocking with your girl. So let's get into this video, video, video. So here I am. I'm in designer space. You can, I actually made the design in Canva, but you can make it in designer space or whatever. I made the design in designer space and I brought the picture over. I made the, the picture in Canva and I brought it over to designer space. Excuse me. So that way, because I have like keychains that I have made from in the past that I already have like size they, they already saved in my um designer space so it's much easier for me to bring it there and and put it on those templates that i made and print it from there it's a it's a it's a good it's a like how can i say it it's a good thing and it's a bad thing because the bad thing when you print from designer space you can only print up to a certain size so my paper is eight by five by eleven, so even though I'm print, I'm printing eight by five by eleven. But when I print off a of designer space, it's not. I'm not going to be able to print that whole sheet, which is the eight by five by eleven. So you actually probably, if I was to print it off of something else, I probably get get way more than what I get from here. And I'll show you what you're talking about. As um, once I print it out and get the cut, so I'm just what I'm doing. I'm just um, like I said, I already had the templates that's already inside my designer space that been saved. So I'm just um, just sizing every, you know, getting everything together because I did them in different colors and different things. So that's what you see me doing right here. I'm just like making a. a evening it out i i do believe i think i did maybe eight of east east color something like that so now after i did it so then next step is you want to send it over to your printer so now i'm trying to see how many i could get to fit on the sheet so this is the first sheet and you can see if you see the little square box so everything that's in that box is is what's gonna print and this and the reason why you had that black line around it is because when you run run that your paper through your cutting machine after it's printed and you run it through your cutting machine it will cut it out for you so everything that's in it so this is why i was saying you kind of lose out when you print from here because you can only print to a certain amount so yeah that's the um bad part about it, the down yeah, the downside about it. But it's pretty good though. So then I clicked on other and I'm like, oh wait, wait, wait. That's only three. So I'm gonna go back and we're gonna add some more. We're gonna keep adding until we get a full sheet. Cause you already wasting a semi paper, but we're not gonna waste a lot of paper when we got a lot to print. So we're gonna keep going and figure out how many more i can put on there so there we go i'm like okay back and forth so then i'm so then i'm i'm looking at it, i'm like okay we going back again we're going to keep adding adding because remember i i have to print a total of i believe 20 yeah i have to make 20 and then remember the keychains is front and back. So I'm making 20 keychains. So that's 20 prints, right? You would think that. No. Remember, it's front and back. So that's mean that's a total of 40 because each keychain is gonna take two images. So, you know, we're not wasting no paper. And then what happened was even when I got to the end, because I still had space, I went on and added some other designs that i will show you later on down because we're not wasting no papers and i knew i still had other things to print i had to make um air car air fresheners and things like that so we're not wasting nothing right guys so all you just see i'm just moving around trying to give like space to see whatever 
I'm just playing around and moving around. Because I don't want them to be too close because I haven't decided if I'm going to cut it myself. I'm going to let the machine cut it. And if you know you let the machine cut it, you just you got to have enough space in between. Just a little bit of space. But And then I'm like, I'm not sure. So if I cut it, I definitely need to have space. But I'm going to cut it myself. So that's what you just see me. I'm just like trying to move it around, play around with it. And you can see the line a little more better in this part of the um video the little black line that's around it and that little black line that's around it that's actually ink that's ink so anytime you're doing sublimation and you're printing through your Cricut design space you definitely want to make sure if, if the machine doesn't if you don't let the machine cut it out for you and you decide to cut it out just so you want to make sure you cut everything away from that black line or else that line will be on whatever you press so now we head it over to the printer and then i'm just showing you i have different printers set up so we're using the epson printer 2800 click on that i i took the bleed off send it to print and voila here we go so here's all the images you see the black line that i was telling you about so i'm going to show you these are the designs that all the different design like i said i wasn't wasting no paper since i knew i had other projects to do i just went on and printed those designs on some of the paper along with it so now you just see me right now i'm just gonna um i'll speed it up because you don't need to show this so all i'm doing right now is just cutting it down i decided to cut it myself so first what i did i cut it away from the black line to get to make sure i have no parts of the black line there and now i'm just cutting them all down to size for all of them and as you see the the big image is for is the size for the air freshener that um that i decided to throw in as a bonus but the only thing is you're gonna see a little more down the line when we get to the air freshener i bought these air fresheners i bought some some more air fresheners because i was running low and i didn't buy from the same person that i normally buy from i bought a different from someone different and that's why the old, the old saying is always stick with what you know stick with what you know guys i promise you so as you see so i'm just cutting them, i'm just still cutting them down because like i said it's a total of 40 so that's a lot you see i cut away the black line everything of it so now i um taped it to the What I wanted to do, because I wasn't sure, because these were some of my first um, keychains, and I had already took the, they come with a, a plastic film on it. You have to remove that in order to press it. And I was using these, I was going to make something before, and I couldn't remember, but I took it up and I kept trying to remove the film, and it wasn't nothing. So I'm like, I think I, I used it. So I just wanted to do the first five just to make sure. And of course, that's what happened. It was, I had already removed it. So now I'm testing it to see because I'm like, hold up, wait a minute, wait a minute. While it's not, I know it has the film on it and it's not moving. So I'm like, something ain't right. So, and it was, and as you see, they all came out good. So I went on to proceed to finish um, pressing all of the keychains. And there you go, nice and bright. I did one side red and one side blue. So it's a total of five for the um for the, the kids. So on this I put um happy birthday dad and I did day blue and a different color blue from the from the regular family and friends. So one is a darker blue, one is a lighter blue. So yeah, you know, you want to kind of give the kids a little there's a little different from like the regular family because it's their dad, right? Right? It's only right. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just removing all the removing them all the paper and tape off of them. Everything is pressed. And um like I was saying, I I did the um the air freshness I bought. I really, really do not like these, and I'm gonna. You're gonna see in another um clip how the difference. 
So this this was the air freshener. Is is more like a cardboard like. So you can see the difference and the different colors of the keychain. They came out really nice, guys. They came out really, really nice. So now I'm just going to put them together. Um, I, you know, when you giving, um, doing keychain, especially customized keychain, you you want, even though you're putting a picture on it, whatever, you still want to jazz it up. So I kind of jazz mine up by adding little pieces, like little um tassels little the the pom poms different things on it so that's what you see me here so now i'm just organizing everything because it's a lot and i'm just going to organize everything and just take my time and put um each keychain separately try to give it their own little customer so there you have it so now you can see the difference how they look y'all leave your comments down below let me know what you think guys please leave your comments down below let me know what you think so everything is all set ready to go so here now i'm going to um bag everything up as you see so those these are for the, the kids so i put them in a separate small stash bag and now all the other um keychains that off that's for um everyone else like the grandkids the sisters you know whoever they decide they give them to i'm gonna put those in the i have individual holograph bags that i'm going um little bags that i'm putting them in so i'm gonna put each one of those and one each each keychain into one of those so that way everybody you know it's all about how you want to it's the packaging and the presentation let me say it again. It's the presentation. So when you doing stuff, you don't want to just throw stuff around. It's easy. Yeah, okay, you finished it. Okay, just bundle them. What you're going to do, just bundle them up and just pass it up? No, you want to make it look like something. You don't go into a store and buy something and it's just throw, just throw it on the counter and nothing. When you go in the store, it's, it's packaged up, right? But it's just in a, in a plain plastic bag is sealed up so that's what i want to do so that's what i'm doing guys i'm putting each one in their own separate um holographic um bag and you can get those off of amazon i think i don't i don't remember i'm gonna see if i could remember to put the links all the links down but if not you could just go on amazon and just look it up holograph um I believe they call it treat bass or something like that. So yeah. So th this all everything they all in the bag. You see how they look. Everything is in the bag. And now I put them all in the big bag together. So y'all let me know, like I said, how do y'all think everything came out? I me mean, myself, I love it. I love it. I love it. I think everything came out pretty. Everything is good. Leave your comments down below. Until the next next video, just know your girl love you. Later.